Hi guys! Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all well and I hope that you're enjoying the festive season. Hey, turn up, turn up. <laughs> Today I thought that I wanted to do a different kind of video to what I normally do. So like I'm used to doing tutorials and just you know telling you guys how I do something or yeah. In my last video I mentioned um, two blushes that I liked but I actually have so many other blushes that I like and I just thought that why don't I share this with you? You guys should be grateful. So today I'm gonna just be talking about the, my favourite blushes and why I like them. Just a quick disclaimer, obviously I'm a dark skinned woman, surprise, wow, <laughs> but yeah I'm, I'm a dark skinned woman so obviously all the blushes that I'm choosing will be ideal for people who also have darker, deeper shade of skin, so yeah. So when it comes to blushes for deeper complexions, I think the colours that you should look out for are things like um, corals, plums, um, darker reds, um, plum shades, browns, all those things look good. First off, I'm starting off with red. Reds are good because you don't need to use too much. You can go in lightly and you know, it brings a lot of life to the skin. And yeah, it's not, it's def I, I wouldn't say it's subtle. So if you're a bit more adventurous, then yeah, I would definitely recommend red. So the first red blush that I'm gonna talk about is the NARS Exhibit A. So yeah, I'll show you and you'll see how this is kind of, it's quite a bright, like it's red, it's very much red. And let me just do a quick swatch on my arm. Okay, so this is, oh sorry guys, my swatch game is not, it's not the best. So this is it on my arm. It looks a bit crazy on my arm, I can't lie. However, I think, well, I don't think, I know, <laughs> on deeper skin, this looks very, very beautiful. Like it literally brings a pop of color to the face. Um, I would say if you're using this kind of color, don't um, use this blusher if you're gonna go with um, a, a, a red lipstick as well or a matte lip because then it might be a bit too much in my opinion. Um, don't go in too heavy with this product because if you do it will literally, it will, it will show up and you will look red like you're blushing, not in a good way in more of a I have a fever kind of way which isn't really the look that you're trying to go for so yeah um this is one of my favorite red blushes um yeah I really like it so a cheaper alternative to this because obviously the NARS is quite pricey um is the Kiko smart blush in the color 8 so you can see it's pretty much the same if I put them next to each other you can see they are pretty much the same like maybe yeah I think they're pretty much the same this one might be a tiny bit deeper but they're pretty much the same I'm not gonna swatch this one because I still need to swatch my other products too and yeah they're pretty much the same so apart from the reds um, I think closest to red is orange obviously so one blush that I have that I really like um, that gives me that it's the MAC Red Brick I'll show you so it's literally it's an orangey brownish it's it's more like a brownish to be honest but yeah it's it's an eyeshadow but I use it as a blusher and I really like it let me give a swatch okay. so this is a on my hand you can see that it has that nice brownish orange color and on black women beautiful stunning so yeah so that's the Mac red brick um, I don't have a drugstore version for this one um, but once I do I will update you all um, one blush that I really like is the Rimmel jelly blush um, it's a liquid it's like it's it's a cream blush um, so I use it 
underneath my um, powder so when I do my foundation I add a bit of cream blush if you don't know what I'm talking about check out my previous video um, so yeah um, it's the jelly blush in the shade cherry popper which is shade 2 this is a cream blush so I'm gonna do a swatch and you guys will see why I like it so much so this is the swatch yeah that is just beautiful it's like underneath the makeup it just brings life before you've even completed the look and yeah I really like it I went on about this in my previous video but yeah I'm gonna stop doing this now but yeah I really like that um, it's a drugstore blusher so it's affordable and who doesn't like affordable things next up is um another pink one but this isn't a cream it's a powder and it's the mac never say never it's a blusher but it's in a smaller container so i'll show you now so yeah, this is pink this is actually pink and yeah i really like this um let me do a swatch so you can see that is a pink i haven't blended it very well but yeah it's pink and yeah it looks nice <laughs> okay that sounds lame but um no I, I i like this one a lot um it's not as full-on as red in my opinion so if you are not ready to you know step out with the reds then i would definitely recommend this um i just wish they did it in a bigger pack because it's quite small okay, the next um few blushes i'm going to show you are going to be deeper ones um, which also look very good on dark skinned women. So within this group, the first one I really like is the MAC Burnt Pepper. Um, it's more of a darker coppery, a dark coppery kind of shade, um, warm as well. And yeah, I think it looks very good on dark skinned women. And I will show you a swap now. A swap? I will show you a swatch now. Okay. And there you can see it's quite brown um it's not it, it's almost like i don't want to let me not push it but it's not far off from my color so i think that in my opinion this is quite a natural option if you're not wanting to you know be too in your face so that's the mac burnt pepper so taking it deeper, but with a bit of a twist, it's the NYX Sweet Cheeks blusher. Um, the shade I'm using is called Red Riot. Yeah. Yeah, it's called Red Riot. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure I read that properly. Um, so when I say it's with a twist, it's because it's like a luminous blusher. So it kind of is a high, it gives, it illuminates you as well as being, English is not easy. Ah, it illuminates. Let me show you guys first. So you can see. Trying to get the best. Uh -huh. So as you can see, it's quite it's quite deep. So I will do a swatch, and you guys can see. So as you can see, the sh the luminous um the luminous effect you can't see it that much on camera but you can see the color it's kind of it's like rosy kind of thing um when you're using this please don't go in heavy because the, <laughs> the first time i used this blusher i had to like go over with my powder brush to you know clear some of it out because I, I didn't realize it's it's quite pigmented and obviously because it's a luminous blusher it's very 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 obvious if you go in too heavy so yeah please don't be like me go in lightly and if anything you can always build up rather than having to wipe things off so yeah and it, this is a drugstore one so yeah it's affordable so next up um taking it deeper well not too deep actually um i really like mac raisin it's very natural so it does the job but it's not in your face as much as a red blusher so yeah this is more of a dark brown um uh, let me swatch for you let, let me show you first as well so 
can see. Do a, let me do a swatch of that. Okay, so you can see that it's, it's brown. It's very much brown. Um, to be, I would say if you're to get this, um, the Mac Raisin, you shouldn't get the burnt pepper as well because I think they're quite similar. Um, pick one or the other, you know, we have to be financially smart here, you know. <laughs> so, um, yeah. So, lastly, taking it very, 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 very deep, you know, I don't know why I said it like that, but taking it deep is the MAC Film Noir. This is very dark, as you can see. If you compare this with burnt pepper, I'll, I'll show the two. You can see that they're both very, very dark. So this is burnt pepper and this is film noir. And I can even put, let me squeeze rays in there because ah, just for comparison. So yeah, this is raisin. This is, I should probably do a lighter one. So this is raisin. No, sorry. This is burnt pepper. This is raisin. And then this, this is film noir so you can see this is very 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 deep so i use this as a blusher slash bronzer so i kind of put it in this area to kind of blend out the harshness of the contour and yeah just make things more natural let me give you a swatch okay so this is film noir you can see because it's very dark, don't go in with too much because it will just look kind of severe. It will, it will look very heavy if you put too much. Just go in lightly, you know. Um, but yeah, I like to use this to, as a, to bronze my skin, but it's a blusher. Um, but yeah, that's the darkest blusher that I have. Um, I'm still on the lookout for more. So another alternative when you're when trying to discover or experiment with colors to find out what blusher works for you is to use eyeshadow palettes. So I did this when I first got introduced to blusher and I was trying out different colors. I would use like certain colors to kind of gauge which kind of colors looks good on me. So this is just. This is a, a nice shadow palette. This isn't what, what I used back then, but I will just use this for this example. So this is the OPV um, gorgeous eyeshadow palette. Looking at this, um, there are some colors here that would look quite good on black women. And you know, if you're just new to blushes and you're experimenting with them, you can definitely use an eyeshadow to try it out. And then when you're more certain about the color, you can buy a single one and you know commit properly but in the meantime you know looking at this i would say this would look quite good on black women you know it's orangey it's kind of like red brick um this would as well um you can experiment with a deeper one here you know but that's just an example of one of how you can do this with one palette. You can do this with so many other palettes. Um, even with one that you own already, just, you know, experiment with the colors and yeah, and have fun and go crazy, you know, cause I think makeup's all about experimenting. Sometimes you might try out a color and you know, it doesn't work out and that's fine. You can just wipe it off and do something else. But yeah. That's my video done. Um, I hope you found this video helpful and insightful and I hope you learned a thing or two. Um, yeah, if you have any questions or anything that you want me to do a video on, please let me know and I'll try my best to do it. But in the meantime, take care guys. Thank you for watching and yeah, stay safe and stay blessed. Bye.